My guest today is Matt Adamchek. Matt, how are you? Doing well, David. What do you do, Matt? So I am a Microsoft's technologist in residence at Titletown Tech up here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, that's a couple of things that I don't know about. So uh, I, I don't know what a technologist in residence is, and I don't know what Titletown Tech is. Uh, what, what, what's the role of a, a technologist in residence? Is that a common thing? Uh, you know, I, I think I might be the only one at Microsoft with, with that title, which okay. is uh, fairly unique. Um, but essentially, it's just fancy speak for someone who is passionate about technology. And I am uh, in residence at uh, Titletown Tech. So I work with all of the startups that we invest in um, on everything technology and, and connecting in with Microsoft resources. OK, so the Titletown Tech has something to do with startups. It does. It does. Totally. Happy to, to elaborate. Um, so Titletown Tech is, uh, we're about a year and a half old now, um, but it's formed out of partnership between Microsoft and the Green Bay Packers. Uh, mm -hmm. Within Microsoft, we're fairly unique. We fall into our philanthropies division as part of our TechSpark initiative. And so this is where Microsoft is giving back to underserved, mostly rural communities across the U.S., uh, to, to try and spark that tech economy and, and uh, spark innovation. And so uh, up here in, in Green Bay, we uh, found co-founded uh, Titletown Tech with the Packers. Uh, we have a $25 million investment fund and we're working on investing in and building early stage tech startups. Um, we, we, we focus in across a number of historical strengths of the area. Uh, including sports, which you, you, with with the Packers involved, you have to have a sports. sports Packers team. are some sort of a sports team, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, one of the most unique things with the Packers, uh, for those that don't know, they're the only community-owned sports team. So they're actually owned by the people of Green Bay and the people of Wisconsin, yes. um, and also in the, the smallest market. And so Green Bay is only 100,000 people large. Right. Um, it, it's often referred to as the the, um, the stadium in the middle of a neighborhood. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been to that stadium. It's actually a pretty nice neighborhood. Um, what's uh, you mentioned TechSpark? What is that? Yeah, our TechSpark initiative um, spans a, a number of different uh, programs that are highly local, and so we, we invest uh, in six different communities across the United States, and we focus in on things like computer science education. Um, community engagement, building up that, that talent pipeline, uh, upskilling workers into higher tech jobs and, and giving them opportunity, as well as, uh, for example, in Green Bay, this, this uh, economic development lens of creating jobs and creating new ventures. And so we're, we're in a number of cities uh, across the U.S., like Cheyenne, Wyoming, um, Boynton, Virginia, and, and Quincy, Washington, all of which have Microsoft data centers. And then hmm. other uh, unique places like Green Bay, Wisconsin, Fargo, North Dakota, and El Paso, Texas, with a, a bi-national cross, uh, cross-border program with, with startups there as well and small Where's, businesses. And there are all these medium-sized cities. You're not in the Chicago's and the New York's and uh, Los Angeles. It's, uh, that, that, that's right. That's right. And that can't be a coincidence. <laughs> and each city has a, a unique lens that, uh, that, that we try and build on top of. Um, for example, here in Green Bay, there's a long history of innovation, companies that are 100 plus years old that were some of the first paper manufacturers in the country, for, for, for instance. Um, and so we're looking at how do we bring that back and, and re-energize it with technology. What's, what's, what's the role of um, uh, Titletown Tech? The, the, the role of Titletown Tech? Yeah, what, what are the, what's the mission? What, do you, what does that organization do? Sure. So uh, Titletown Tech um, has a few different components. We have a, a studio component where we are bringing in early stage entrepreneurs who uh, we help build up their company from that, that proof of concept early stage to uh, an MVP, getting in the market, getting their, their first traction. 
Um, and then we pair that with the Title Town Tech Fund, which is that $25 million of, of essentially venture capital funding and, and try and help scale these companies, mostly Wisconsin-based companies, um, though, though we aren't completely exclusive uh, to, to that. You say build up these these new companies. How would you do that? Is that mentoring? Is that money? Is that uh, what is it? Yeah, it, it, the the answer really is it's a little bit of everything. Um, and we, we like to refer to the model that we use as the connected capital model. And so rather than just writing a venture capital check, um, which which many firms do, um, mm -hmm. we try and pair that check with the resources mentorship and, and access to uh, connections that, that helps make these companies succeed. Um, we, we like to call it a, a one size fits one approach where we're, we're tailoring that, that, that set of resources, you know, uniquely to each company. And we only invest and, and work with the company when we believe that we can bring that, that unique value. Um, one of the other unique things of Titletown Tech is the other investors alongside Microsoft and the Packers are all uh, other corporates and, and that's intentional so that we have this this network across different markets and across different industries to be able to tap into and, and build off of the the uh, you know market presence that these other companies have hmm. what's uh, well, so how big is this uh, how many companies we're we talking about we, we have about two dozen companies uh, right now and uh, continuing to grow um, we, we don't operate on a cohort model like a lot of accelerators do. We're just always evaluating new opportunities and make investment decisions on a, a weekly basis. Oh, how do people apply? Uh, we, we have uh, links on our website and we encourage you know, any entrepreneurs to reach out. We, we look at every single company that comes across our desk and are always looking for new opportunities. This is a good time to mention your website. I think it is TitletownTech.com. Or I guess it's not your website, but the uh, <laughs> Titletown Tech website. That's correct. What, tell me, what, is, uh, what does Microsoft get out of this? Why are, why are we interested in places like Titletown Tech? Yeah, there are a few reasons. Number one is, is giving back um, and, and just helping build up this tech economy here. Um, Microsoft's pledge within this venture capital fund is to uh, take any returns that we get from it and roll them back into other philanthropic efforts, whether that be you know continuation of what we're doing here, an expansion of it, or um, uh, other initiatives such as our, our upskilling and education types of initiatives. Now, through working uh, with Title Town Tech, we've also found you know, other ancillary benefits of getting employees engaged and being able to learn hands-on with some of these entrepreneurs who are uh, building innovative uh, new companies and new technologies and disrupting markets and having that, mm -hmm. that customer insight of how they're approaching uh, different industries and potentially also building on our own platforms. Yeah, I actually, um, I had uh, my first role at Microsoft involved working with startups and there's a lot of these startup incubators in Chicago. Uh, there's one at the University of Chicago and there's another for-profit one and uh, called 1871 and uh, a lot of my goal at the time was just to get people to, interested in Azure and interested in .NET but mostly Azure just would give away free Azure let them know uh, make them aware of it a lot of them didn't realize that there was a cloud platform ever by, by Microsoft and so that was what I was evangelizing yeah, and we, we've uh, seen tremendous success um, somewhat unintentionally. Um, almost every company that's come through Titletown Tech has come uh, to, to us built on a competing cloud platform, uh, yeah. which is completely fine with us. We, we don't uh, you know, limit or impose any restrictions on the companies, right. but uh, almost every single one of those companies has decided to build on Azure and, and build on right. Microsoft products because we're, we're giving this access to uh, you know, mentorship, advisement, and resources. Um, we, we have Jason Zander, who's the EVP of Azure as our yep. chief technology advisor. Um, so he comes in and spends time with all of the companies and is able to bring other resources, you know, from his team to help uh, help our startups understand the, the possibilities and also act as a feedback loop to help us improve our own products based on, uh, based on some of the, those experiences. 
Um, you mentioned that there's there's some venture capital involved. Is that coming from Microsoft, or are there other partners involved as well? Yeah, so we have a $25 million fund, $5 million came from Microsoft, and $5 million from the Packers as the two anchor partners. Mm-hmm. And then the other $15 million came from those mostly local corporates. Is that a donation, or are they actually buying an interest in these companies? It's a for-profit entity, so it's a uh, capital for equity, traditional okay. venture capital type of a relationship. And, and the core goal of the fund itself really is to Know, bring that return. We just so happen to also be doing some good along the way and, and helping out yeah. the community. Absolutely. Are, are you the only one that's full-time engaged in this? Uh, so I'm, I'm one of two Microsoft employees up here. Um, I focus in on Titletown Tech and, and this, this technology focus. And then Michelle Schuler is our community um, TechSpark manager who, <laughs> who engages with the community, runs those education and upskilling programs. And and finds other unique ways to excuse me, infuse Microsoft into the community. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like you said that uh, you bring your friend Jason Zander in every once in a while to talk. Uh, are other people coming in and helping out? Yeah, we, we've had uh, you know quite a bit of support across uh, Microsoft in whole. Um, Brad Smith's our executive sponsor, as uh, you know, philanthropy's rolls up to him, and and the decision to enter Green Bay really was one of. Uh, we, we had uh, significant traction with the TEALS program and getting computer science education uh, mm-hmm. going in this region. And it's a, a doubling down of how, you know, how do we really foster that and create this scalable model of, of everything that we're doing in, in TechSpark and in philanthropies to, to grow it. Um, but, but then we, we've had success across the company and reaching out to other subject matter experts, whether it be you know, industry focuses like deep in healthcare and agriculture or um, other technology focuses, whether that be data and ML or, or uh, you know, Azure computer vision is another example. How has the pandemic this past year affected your job in Title Tech? No, I, I think I'm almost exactly at one year of work from home. Um, unfortunately, I have haven't been able to spend spend my days in our beautiful office space right across the street from Lambeau, um, but but we do have that space uh, mostly open for for our entrepreneurs and some of the team is working out of that space on a daily basis um, w- with masks and, and all the the precautions. Um, but you know it, it was a, a slight disruption at the beginning. We we saw the market pull back. Um, and, and obviously it's one of the the largest disruptions of our lifetimes and. You know, yeah. we, we can only hope that it, it you know, it, it might be the only disruption of this size in our lifetimes. Um, but but what, once the pandemic was underway for a few months, we adapted and and uh, you know kept moving forward and have made uh, quite a few investments through throughout the pandemic and continued to scale businesses and and really have this opportunity to help those businesses adapt to the changing changing circumstances. Excellent. Is there anything we haven't talked about that you think we should? Yeah, th- there's one more initiative that I'd, I'd love to plug at, at Titletown Tech. Um, in December, we launched a, a new arm of Titletown Tech called Equity League. Um, and, and so th- this all sparked uh, over the summer with with the, the racial equity and, and, and the awakening happening across the, the United States with the, mm-hmm. um, especially here locally, with, with the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha. And, and hitting hitting a bit close to home here, um, and and, and uh, this fall it, it started out with a conversation with Mark Murphy, the president of the Packers, uh, and, and really building on a, a long history of the Packers being progressive and, and outspoken on on racial issues. Um, I, I've got Vince Lombardi up here in my my background behind me, um, and, and he's known as a, a very progressive voice uh, in Green Bay back in the '60s uh, mm-hmm. when he was recruiting black players and speaking out to the community, telling them that if they segregated or discriminated against his players, the whole team would boycott their their businesses. Um, which, I did not know that. Put, put you know forced the issue and and helped uh, create a at least more of a sense of equality here. Um, and so anyways, fast forward to 2020, uh, we, we started the, this thing called Equity League, which brought together the Packers, the Bucks, and the Brewers, uh, along with Microsoft in a four-way partnership 
Uh, so, so, so that's spanning spanning uh, professional football, basketball, and baseball here in the state uh, in this historic coming together to invest in minority entrepreneurs and create opportunities to uh, b build up uh, companies led by minorities, as well as having social impact focuses. Very cool. Are you involved in that initiative? Yes. Yeah, so, so it's housed under Title Town Tech. We, we're calling it a essentially a sixth investment arm. Um, mm -hmm. And it was really in reaction to you know everything happening in, in our country, as well as we'd seen a number of companies coming across um, across our desk in the social impact spaces. And so the, the timing seemed right to just also make a bet in social impact and ha having an avenue to help those entrepreneurs as well. Outstanding. I like the idea that it's uh, you're keeping the conversation going even months after uh, some of the noise in the press has settled down. There was a lot of conversation about it when there were some high profile killings. There was some high profile violence in, in cities, including Chicago. Um, and, uh, and people were talking about it a lot. And what, ha what tends to happen a lot of times is that once it's out of the news, it's out of the conversation. Things like that, I think. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, so and, and a, lot of, um, a lot of people and companies try and make a, a big statement um you know write a big check but what we're really trying to do is stand up a you know programmatic structure that can uh, really have a, a true impact and, yeah. and have that be long term um and, and so we've been growth hacking away at it and just getting this getting this going we're, we're two months in right now and uh bringing the the community community to the table and and um helping form this well matt i really appreciate your time that sounds like you're doing great work in Green Bay, and uh, you stay safe. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Thanks for having me. Technology in the hands of an entrepreneur can change the world, but it might take a few friends to get there.